much and you you don't really want to see them go when they've been good to you you know <laughs> no, no this, definitely. this guy this guy is quite special on this farm so his his mother was the first ever Clydesdale embryo transfer oh, really? successfully born okay and this is her first foal hello so we, we do, we're not scared to try something maybe a bit out of the ordinary if we need to uh, and we're we're awesomely lucky that we have technicians Selena at Premier AI created this thing's mum which uh, is fab to see so the first day I saw this thing's mum was down a microscope and it was just a tiny like a grain of sand it was phenomenal and now she's she's over there in your field and you can touch her and look at her and yeah. feel her it's brilliant brilliant no oh, it's amazing i mean you know where are we on the, in terms of the breed are they still considered endangered yeah we're a rare breed for oh, roughly there'll be 180 to 200 foals born per annum uh, so we're, every breeder has to keep trying hard and keep working hard yeah and then try new things like the embryo transfer then well the when when you have a when you're faced with a problem that you can't breed a mare because of internal injury then yes it's a gamble but let's take the take the help that's on board and we well we are we've been lucky we've got two of them here uh, because of that uh, and uh, the opportunity is there to create new life and because we don't have a lot of horses in the world that particular mare we did that, Kalesi Jennifer, she's a two-time Highland Show champion. She was senior female champion at the Worlds, uh, Winter Fair, Stallion Show. She's she's won the whole lot, so she was worth the little bit of effort. And well, it was actually a big bit of effort, but yeah. she was worth it to to try and get it. So then you're taking the embryo and then you're implanting that into like a yeah, host, host uh, mother. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. So at at uh, so there. The donor mum has to do all the work. Yeah. She has to conceive it and have it. And then eight to eight to nine days it gets washed out the mare and into another mare. So okay. we've was successful twice we've had. Uh, and we have a, a son here off of the female embryo and lying down over there we have a daughter off the stallion embryo. So and we've only invested five years, six years at it, and to ha actually stand in the field with them now, yeah, it's pretty cool. When you're yeah. when you're maybe not succeeding the odd day, you think, oh, why are we trying this when this one's full and no problem? But uh, to have that ge genetic portfolio on the farm is, we think, is pretty awesome to be honest. Yeah, no, it's fantastic, you know, and it, these are all the things that we need to keep doing to. That's really right. Well, you never, alive, you, you know? never know what problems coming round the corner. So the more expertise that you can create, and the more success you can create, might just be the day that saves the breed's life. 